because he wants to step right now. Why is it always right now? I'm not quite finished yet. Well, that'll do. The big shot just arrived. regarding the identity of the two victims. Bystanders have described one as a man in his mid to late 20s, seen recently in the vicinity of the Ott Basin. The woman described as slight of build and middle-aged was said to resemble a woman who had been seen by a local resident not long ago fishing at the pier. And now for some other news. That is the awful. Why would Flowers anyone want to kill a woman like that? I don't know. That's really awful. <sighs> what do you think did it? I don't know, dear man. I wouldn't want to think about that. It's just positively <laughs> dreadful. Oh, I uh, gather that was about the shooting. Yes, I just can't believe it. It gives me the shivers just thinking about it. No, it does me too, but I can't keep it out of my mind. You know, it's so dreadful. And yet, and yet there's something mysterious about this. You mean the police don't have any motives? Well, at this point, I really don't know what they have, Jeremy. What, what do you mean? I, I just mean that there's something very strange about all of this. Well, people are going to get shot every day. That's kind of strange in itself, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Wait a minute, Jeremy. What is it you're trying to say, Audrey? Well, for starters, why wasn't that woman's body taken from the clinic to General Hospital the way it was supposed to? I mean, especially since she died at the, at the clinic. That is standard procedure, of course, it yes. It certainly is. Any death at the clinic is automatically transferred to General Hospital for an autopsy or an investigation. See, I really don't understand that. You're not the only one, my dear. You know, why would anyone at the clinic break the rules like that? That's what I can't believe. Oh, nobody broke the rules. Georgia called emergency and talked to the doctor on duty. They sent an ambulance over right away to the clinic. The only trouble was... They didn't come back with the body. Mm. The police stepped in. Mm. That's pretty weird, the police taking the body. Yeah. Yes, yes, it uh, certainly is, Anne. Well, thank you. That's the yeah. one part I can't figure out. The coroner stepped right in and took over. Maybe it was a police case. Yeah, I thought about that. But when I asked him about it, I couldn't get a straight answer from him. As a matter of fact, I couldn't get a straight answer about anything. Hmm. Oh, it's coming, Joe. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Hi, Joe. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's all right. Thank you, Chief. I, uh, I had to stop in and uh, make a couple of inquiries along the docks uh, about a couple of shootings. I hope you got some better answers than I did. Well, then you heard all about it. Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. At least we know what we heard on the news. Well, you know about as much about it as I do. Joe, I should think Captain Ramsey would be able to provide some answers on this subject. Yeah, well, I thought so, too. Well, did you talk to him? Yeah, and get this. The captain of Homicide at PCPD didn't even hear of any shootings. Now, you see, what did I tell you? There is something very odd about this. Well, there's no question about that. Well, let's not let it spoil our dinner, huh? Yeah. Is everybody ready? Come yes. on. I sure as heck am. Well, let's go. Uh, well, okay. Go on in without me. May I use your phone? I have to make a call. Yeah, go ahead. We'll wait. Well, I don't know if Jeremy's stomach can wait a minute longer. One minute, maybe. <laughs> One, minute. Okay. One minute. Go ahead. Please start without me. Yeah, I uh, just have to call Bobby. Bobby, here you go. All right, Audrey, I'll take it in. Thanks. Bobby. Why does he have to call Bobby? Well, you know, I think I know the answer to that one. You do? Mm-hmm. It's not a very nice one either, but, um, don't tell me how, but I think that Luke and Laura are mixed up in all of this. Mm -hmm. You know, Tony, I really would appreciate knowing what's going on here. I beg your pardon? I said, I would like to know what's going on here. Let me do this. I still don't know what you mean. Oh, well, these strange people. You didn't tell me we were going to have so much company. Well, why not mix business with a little pleasure? I mean, uh, most of our guests are really quite amusing. Oh, I don't know about that. From what I've seen so far, I wouldn't want to know any of them. <laughs> such hasty judgments, Alex. Before the trip is over, I am sure you enjoy their company. Oh, I certainly hope so. By the way, who are those uh, two people that just boarded? Uh, Maximilian von uh, Noel von Stad. Stad. Oh, Stad.
God, of course. Weren't they, uh, uh he was a, uh, a diplomat of some kind. Yes, so one could say that. A man of considerable power. And to say anything less would only be a great disservice to him. Shall we go? Yes, I think I'm ready to face my public. What do you think? Well, I think you look stunning. <laughs> do you really? I wanted to look extra special for you tonight. Oh, Alex, uh, before we go up, uh, there's something I would like to tell you. Oh, what is that? Well, there's another person on board that I have not told you about. Oh, Tony, a surprise guest. How exciting. You know I love surprises. Well, this time I don't think you're going to be too happy about it. Oh, come on, come on. Don't be an old stick in the mud. You know, there's nothing in the world that Alexandria Quatermain cannot handle. All right. Bye. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, it tastes pretty good, too. Joe, uh, did you get through to Bobby? Please pass the biscuits. Yeah, I biscuits did, and please. I'm afraid I wasn't much Thank help to her. Uh, she's pretty upset. Well, can you blame her? Nice and warm. No, I can't. This is a weird deal all the way around. Scorpio, Luke, and Laura come in. They, they leave a wounded woman off in the clinic. She dies, and they just totally disappear. Well, it's especially weird with Scorpio involved. It was all too quick, too pat, too hush-hush. Mm -hmm. Well, it certainly bewilders me. It frightens me, really. You know, I, um, I've been thinking the same thing these days. It seems like there's no peace for any of us at all. Well, maybe we're over, over dramatizing this a bit. Although I'll have to admit, something like this doesn't happen every day. No, that's just it, Steve. It does. I'm really beginning to feel there's one drama after another. And everything that's happening seems to have an effect and touches all of us. Yeah, all of us, including Heather. Heather? Uh, Joe, what's, what's happening there? Heather's going into a police lineup tomorrow. A real police lineup? Oh, no, I had no idea. Well, I can't say I'm sorry. Maybe it might clear up the whole mess. Hmm? Maybe. Well, if you ask me, I got it all figured out. Oh, what? About Luke Moore and that spider guy. And those two people got killed? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, please offer forth your theory, Professor. It's secret agents. They're behind the whole thing. Okay, Sherlock. <laughs> you deduce that. Simple. That's why everybody's disappearing. See, the secret agents, they discovered the bodies and they covered them up. It's so simple. Can you pass the applesauce? Please. <laughs> I uh, think you've been reading too many spy stories, young mm. man. It could be true, mm -hmm. couldn't it, Joe? See? Well, if your basic premise is right, that there were indeed secret agents involved, yeah. Mm -hmm. See? I'm right, and I'll bet you a whole week's allowance. <laughs> oh, you are pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? That's right, and if Tommy was in at summer camp, he'd agree with me, too. He knows I'm smart. You know something, Jeremy? What? I agree with you, too. See? Well, however it happened, I, uh... I kind of empathize with Bobby. Well, personally, I really feel sorry for Rick and Leslie. They must be worried out of their minds. Hmm? And Luke and Laura. My goodness, the things they get themselves involved in. <laughs> What's this? There's plenty of room down below. All right, all right. Laura, what kind of a dumb stunt is this, anyway? What? Sneaking on board this boat. Well, you did it, didn't you? Just as a, you know, matter of random interest, how did you do it, sweetheart? Oh, it was easy. It was so easy. See, all the maids and the stewards, they were going on, and they were carrying uh, suitcases and all kinds of things. So I just picked up uh, somebody's overnight bag, right? And I walked right on board, right with the rest of them. Walked on board? Yeah. Robert, she walked on board. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have I done that. Why not? Because it's dangerous, Laura. It's dangerous, and you're leaving the boat right now. No, I'm not. Robert, will you help me get this woman off this boat? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Stop. Stop right there. 
You come one step closer, and I'm going to scream bloody murder. Oh, darling, now listen to me. No, I won't listen to you. You know what your problem is? You never learn to listen to anybody. That's not true. Yes, it is true. How dare you think? that what happened to O'Reilly didn't upset me as much as it did you, that it didn't make me as angry as it did you, and, and that I don't care about Robert as much as you do, and I love you. I'm supposed to be married to you. I don't care how dangerous it is. Listen, sweetheart, this is going to get really tacky. I mean, this could be really dangerous. No kidding. I don't care. You're stuck with me, all right? So you better just get used to it. The only thing you have to worry about right, right now is just uh, figure out some way to stop Cassidy and... And maybe get some dinner, you know? I'm hungry. Mmm. Excellent. Maximilian! Tony! Good to see you. Welcome. What a pleasure. How are you? Noelle. It's good to see you again, Tony. It's been good too to long. You. May I introduce you to Alexandria Quartermain? How do you do? Oh, it's nice to meet you. Tony has said a great many nice things about both of you. And I must say, your reputation has preceded you. I'm happy to have finally met the famous Miss Quarterman. Ah, you're too kind. But actually, we have met before in uh, Monte Carlo. No. My memory must really be failing me if I've forgotten meeting such a charming creature. Well, it was a rather brief meeting. Well, let's hope we can make out for Max's lapse of memory on this trip. I assure you. Both of us know how very much the name Alexandria Quartermain is respected in international banking circles. I thank you. It's very nice of you to say that. There you are. We're going to be casting off in just a few moments. <laughs> for you. I don't want it you here. It is not too dangerous for me. You're not going to get in my way. Why don't you shut up? Don't tell her to shut up, Robert. Shh. Well, looks like nobody's going anywhere now. Except out to sea. Sorry. Looks like you're stuck with me. Ah, shut up. Terrific. I'm all at sea with two bloody amateurs. 